Hey, hey, Allie or Allison Werder here, and I'm joining you from our offices for Allison Werder Consulting. And I have been on phone calls um, yesterday, today, especially, and I know our team is making a bunch of calls too, and here's the thing. There are three responses that we are getting from small business owners or marketers at their small business, and we are getting them these responses, and I have realized that these three responses are definitely not, um, you know, what these people say is not the root cause of them actually turning down our services. And I want to explain to you these three responses that we're typically getting and what I truly believe is the real root cause um, to them actually turning down our services. Okay, so here it is. Shall we do this? Okay, number one. So we explain that we are a Facebook marketing team. We help small businesses get leads and get people to actually walk through their door AKA traffic, isn't that what all small businesses need? Whether it's you know, traffic to your site, traffic through your doors if you are a brick and mortar, and all that kind of thing. And um, a lot of them say, yep, yep, that sounds great, that sounds great. Yeah, I want more traffic, yes, I want more leads. Of course, they're a small business, don't they need that? Um, but here are some of the responses. They say, number one, we know that Facebook is the best platform for advertising, but we don't want to use social to get business. Okay, so sometimes I dig a little bit deeper in that one, but what I've realized that in most cases, the person that I am talking to, whether they are the owner or they are the head of the marketing, there is just simply a lack of knowledge on Facebook as an ads platform. So that's the real root cause. Now here's the thing. I am a small business owner and four years ago I had no knowledge on Facebook as an ads platform either. Uh, I thought it was, and at that time it was mostly just for posting and that kind of thing, the Facebook ads part of it was just getting its feet under itself. Um, but I am one of these people that when there's something new and there's something that I am intrigued by, I'm going to check it out and I'm going to learn about it and uh, I want to be on the cutting edge. That's really where I want to be. So. When people say, we know that Facebook is the best platform for advertising, but we don't want to use it, um, that is just simply because I think they, are, they have this um, true, true um, feeling inside that they don't really know what they're talking about and they wouldn't know if we are trying to trick them or pull the wool over their eyes simply because we know more about Facebook than they do. That is a tricky, tricky one because yes, there are companies out there that do that. There's companies out there uh, that will promise you reach, they'll promise you you know, different kinds of metrics uh, in Facebook that are honestly in Facebook so they can report these things back to you, but they're not the metrics that matter. So there are those companies out there and it is good for small business owners to be aware of that and to know, you know if the business that you're looking at is trustworthy or not. So here's the thing, for us, what we have, especially locally here in um, the area that we work in, uh, I have put my small business and my name out on the line when I go ahead and surround our team around small businesses and we get to be their marketing team. If we don't perform, if we pull the wool over their eyes, and if we you know, don't do the things that they actually see, like leads and people coming through the door, booked appointments, etc then they won't use us, but not only that, but they will be upset at us. Well, I wouldn't risk my name, I wouldn't risk my business, and I certainly am just not the person, it takes too much energy to try to pull wool over people's eyes, I'll be honest. I am jazzed about small business, about marketing, and it works, people, it really works. Okay, so that was number one. Number two statement that we're getting is, yes, we do want to increase business, but we're worried you'll send too much business our way. Okay. So some of you watching this might be thinking, what an amazing problem to have. Too much business, but here's the thing. The root cause I think of that is the same thing that each and every small business owner gets to at some point or multiple points in their career, and that is out of fear. Like, am I gonna be able to hire enough people to handle this business? What if I have to have a waiting list and people are gonna be mad at me because they're on this waiting list, right? So, um, 
there are solutions that can combat that, but one of the main ways that we as a Facebook marketing team um, would help uh, that situation is we also can put out fabulous ads on Facebook that are targeted towards professional people and or you know people who um, would help you with those clients, new employees, for your business and you can use Facebook in a very, very wonderful way to gain more people who are interested in working for you, not only in using your services. So that is pretty cool in and of itself, right? Okay, number three statement that we hear is we already do Facebook. We already do Facebook. Um, you know, and I joke just because I get it. I honestly do. So when I, you know, if I giggle a little bit, it's because I'm honestly remembering myself at that time uh, thinking these same things, okay? So we do Facebook, you know, uh, that's one of those things where there's so many levels to Facebook. And if you're, t if you're tapping in at the very top level or if you have a contracted out business that is doing the top level things for you, and I'm talking about the um, Facebook posting to your page, right? So if you've got different things and they're just posted organically to your Facebook wall for anybody who likes your page to potentially see, that's very top level. Do we believe it's necessary? Yeah, it's a good idea. Um, to do that, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about utilizing Facebook as an actual ads platform and being in the back end of Facebook, checking out those analytics, running ads, targeting those dollars towards audiences, unlike any other place in advertising. Radio doesn't do it, newspaper doesn't do it. Um, Facebook ads are the only way that you can uber target, retarget, and then actually like capture people into special audiences and keep them engaged with your business. That's the, that's the thing. They're in, keep them engaged and keep them walking through the door. So the root cause of that one is just a misunderstanding. They think that Facebook in and of itself is a social platform only. And that's true, it is a social platform, but it's a very, very powerful ads platform that businesses, small businesses, businesses looking to grow, who are tapping into it and they're using it in the correct way, are seeing amazing results. In fact, through Ali J Boutique, th um, four, three years ago when we started to utilize Facebook ads, we've tripled our business at Ali J Boutique since then, and it's super, super fantastic. We book out our events. We know that if we need to create more revenues because of a slow time, because of outside factors, um, the economy, whatever it might be, we have um, Facebook that we can use in order to engage people, put out special offers, do different things to really keep our business up there. And that's very, very important. You've got so much more control than anything else that's currently available in the advertising world. All right, so th there we go. So a lot of these responses that we get back, it's too bad because we could really rock Facebook ads for them and increase their business and they can jump on this train that's already moving. It's been moving for years, um, but they just aren't seeing it, maybe because of lack of knowledge, maybe because of fear, and maybe because there's just a misunderstanding about Facebook. So. There's that, wanted to share that information with you all. If you are watching this and you're like nodding your head and being like, yeah, that's me. If you're like, you know, in, uh, if you're a small business owner or you work directly closely with a small business owner, show them this video, talk about it, and we'd be certainly happy to go ahead and explain further what we do and how we um, are really becoming the secret weapon for small businesses in this area um, beyond ourselves. All right, so thanks for watching. Got my two girls, Rachel, Jessa, on right now. Hey, girls. Okay, so I hope you're having a fantastic day. We will be here continuing on this market, this Facebook marketing super train, um, and we know how to work it and run it, so we'd love to do it for you. Okay, see you next time. Bye.